All right, today I'm going to talk to you about the new BKS 1000 from TI Automotive, a brushless universal pump and controller combo. So these first ones that came in here, got in here today, and we're going to crack open the box and I'm going to show you what's inside. So let's see. One box, you got a pump and controller combination. Inside here they wrapped up the fuel pump itself. Let's see what it looks like. This is the E5LM fuel pump. It's been around for a while. You use it on a few applications like the Bugatti, ZR1, BMW X5, and there's others I'm sure. But it's a uh, twin screw pump. It kind of looks like a twin screw supercharger if you were to look at the inside of it. Um, it's got a four pin connector on it triple barbs, it's got a big outlet on it, and a uh, hell of a pump from what we understand. It's uh, about the same diameter as like a Walbro 255, uh, but it is, it's got a longer case. I sent you some instructions with it, some precautions in a bunch of different languages. We'll look at that later. Comes with a hardware pack, and in the hardware pack we have We'll slice it open. Got a special pre-filter. Should snap on the bottom. It's not the same as any of the other Walbro pumps. It's got a little isolator boot that can be used on the bottom of it for insulation to keep your vibration down. It's got a heavy rubber, uh, surprisingly heavy. I thought it was going to be more foam, but it's uh, um, just heavy, thick, looks like closed cell rubber. Uh, um, boot that you could slide over the pump. Now, um, one thing that's interesting about this pump is it's supposedly uh, not um, E85 rated. Um, however, guys have been using them in E85. Um, just be advised, you don't have no warranty if you do that. Um, and this rubber, I don't know what it is, but um, we're going to try soaking it in E85 and uh, or in some ethanol and see if it swells up on us or not. So we're going to have to check on that. Four pin connector with some harness on it. Uh, looks like some uh, PTFE insulated wire. About, looks like probably 14 gauge, uh, it looks like from here. Give you an instruction sheet, we'll cover that in a little more detail when we do our testing. And also in the box, we have another sealed box here. And let's crack it open. And uh, just so you know, um, you can only buy these controllers with the pump. So they sold as a combination. So if you cook the controller, you're going to buy a whole new combination pump and controller. So here is the uh, controller itself. It's pretty surprisingly heavy, actually, for what it is. Um, we've got a pretty basic set of wires here. Yeah, these four wires here um, go to the fuel pump, and they're color coded. Um, interesting thing about it is uh, we got a, a black, white, green, and blue, and on the pump we got a black, red, green, and white. Um, so we're gonna have to figure that out. It shouldn't be too hard. And then uh, and this is so this is the output of the controller, and the red and the black here is the input. So as I understand, th this just is um, on off. So essentially, once this is connected to the pump, you simply uh, apply power to this too. It's just power and ground to switch the pump on and off as you would a standard uh, brushed DC fuel pump. But uh, anyways, that's what we have in the box. And uh, so the next up is uh, to put some do some testing to it and uh, see how it actually does in the flow bench. And uh, we'll get back to you on that. 